Welcome back. In this video, I want to have a look at the OP10 configuration. So I've gone back and I've made my default configuration active. Right? Just as a reminder, here's my ASCAST, here's my default, and I'm going to right click on the configurations. I'm going to add a configuration. I'm going to call this OP10. Might want to add a description, but I'll say OK. And remember, this is now an exact copy of the default. The next thing to do, and the process planning really can't be separated from the part configuration, so it's all one. I want to think about how I would machine the casting. So the most important thing I can do when I machine the casting is machine the largest surface first. So I want to look at what's the largest surface, largest surface area, and that should be cut first because it's going to become my primary data. Well, on this part, it's quite obvious. I could either machine this top face or the bottom. They're identical. And while I'm holding the part, so my tool's coming down here, probably an end mill or face mill that's going to go around here. I can also machine these three drilled holes and I can machine this bore through the part if I build a proper fixture. So that's going to be my OP10. That having been said, I'll worry about the OP20 and 30 next and we'll discuss those in another video. Now that I've made the decision, I know this won't be machined. So I'm going to come back to my feature tree and when I created the as cast part, I know I should have named this so it'd be clearer, but this is the configuration that covers that. So I'm going to select it, I'm going to right click on it, and I'm going to say configure feature, and I'm going to unsuppress this. I'll tell it to rebuild to make sure I have the right feature, and I do, so I'll say OK. I also want to unsuppress the feature where I covered these up, and that was this in my feature tree. So again, right click. Here's where naming would have made it easier to remember. I'm going to go to configure feature and once again I'm going to unsuppress, unsuppress and I'll rebuild that and yep yeah, that's what I want it and I'll say OK. Yeah I need to go back and add some fillets here and let's take a look. All right oh this also needs to be removed. That's not a problem. I'm going to do a cut then. So I'm going to add a new feature. I'll work from this base. You can tell it's a cut extrude. And I'll click in white space and the easiest thing to do is just cut a hole through. So I'm going to convert this edge. I'll right click to accept it. I'll right click to exit the sketch. And I'll just tell the end condition is through all. All right, so now I have that. The other issue I can see is I have a bit of a hole here and the hole here, which would not exist in the real part. But that's not a problem. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to cover those up but I don't want to cover my chamfer. So I'm going to rotate around and I'm going to work from the bottom in this case. And I'm just going to select this face. This time I'm going to do an extrude boss. And remember any feature I create in this configuration should be suppressed in the others. If it's not, I'll fix it. So I have that face selected. I have it. I'm working in my extrude boss. I'm going to click in white space to, so that this face isn't in selected. Again, I'm just going to convert entities. I'm going to convert this entity, say OK. And then I'm going to create another circle or offset this circle. I'll just create another one. I'm going to come out here and I could just have converted that. I'm going to make it though so it's on edge. So I've got my circle. It's not fully defined. I'll stretch it out a bit. I'm going to hold control. My circle select it. I'm going to select that edge. I'm going to make those co-radial. So now that looks fine. I'll right click, exit the sketch. It's going the wrong way. I'm going to rotate around here. I'm going to flip the direction and I know my distance up to here. All right, I'll rotate around. I want to get to this edge. Right, if I'm not sure what it is, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to come down into here because all that really matters is I go past these holes. So I can visually see I'm past those holes. 1.57. So I'll go back here and I'm going to make that just a bit larger. 1.625 and say OK. And now my part looks as it would at the end of this operation minus the fillets. So I would need to go back in and add the fillets, yeah. 